Good morning, everybody. So I want to talk about something, uh, a situation. I want to give you kind of an idea of what happened yesterday and uh, something I think we can all relate to. If you don't take responsibilities for your mistakes, your actions, for treating someone um, disrespectfully and you don't apologize, where you don't, where you make a mistake and you fail to take responsibility to clean up your mistake, to take action for the mistake that you have made, and you know that you've made the mistake, you might feel, you you feel, you feel the pain, you feel that you've made the mistake, but you don't go and take the initiative to explain and apologize for making that mistake. I'm here to tell you, you're a coward, straight up coward, okay? Coward, you're not a man, you're not an alpha man, just a, a child, okay? So here's the thing. If you make a mistake, if you do something that causes everyone around you uh, dissatisfaction and you don't take the initiative to go and clean it up yourself, you're, you're failing. It's just a, a huge failure. Whenever you make a mistake, whenever you do something that you know is going to inconvenience other people and you don't take the initiative to go and clean it up, why, why would you not do that? You know you've made a mistake. You know you've done something wrong. You know you've done something that's going to inconvenience other people, but you fail not to go. You fail to go and clean it up. You fail to take initiative to go clean up this 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 thing that you have done, no matter what it can be, anything. It can be you know you treated someone poorly. Um, you left a mess. You 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 left something um, at work, or you left something. Um, behind and you failed to go and pick it up, you failed to go clean it, you just left the mistake there for someone else to deal with. You basically pushed your problems off to someone else. That is a cowardly thing to do. We are, you know, we you get to a certain age in life and you can, you can be your own, uh, you can make your own judgment at what age this is. But um, in my opinion, once you're over the age of say 13, 15 years old, you can pretty much always know what your mistakes are. And granted, kids are a little bit different as far as the mistakes and learning from them because they still need to learn from mistakes. But as an adult, let's say at least over the age of 20, um, 22, especially, um, and when you get to that age, you know what your mistakes are. You know if you've done something wrong. Um, and it's important to know when this happens and it's important to go and fix the situation, deal with it yourself. Do not pass your problems on for the next person to deal with. Deal with it yourself. Clean up your mess. Clean up your mistake. Don't pass your problems on to the next person thinking that someone else is going to clean up your mistake. That is not the right thing to do. That is not how a grown man, a responsible man, and a respectful man handles his own problems and situations. You just don't do it. Better yet, if you're a man who goes and cleans up other people's situations because they have left that problem there for you, like you know you're the type of person who you know someone has left this mistake, someone made a mistake, someone left a mess, and they failed to clean it up themselves, but you go and take the initiative to clean it up after them, good on you, man. Good on you. That is what a true respectful adult does. That is what a true alpha type man does. And not even just an alpha, what a man does. Someone who has respect, someone who has dignity, goes and does. Cleaning up even when it's not your responsibility. Fixing mistakes that are not even your responsibility. Solving problems that are not even your responsibility. That is a very... That is a very strong thing to do. The other thing is... If you know that you've done something wrong to someone else, and you know that... You know that... Uh, you spoke disrespectfully to someone else and you didn't apologize right away. Maybe you're having a bad day. You were um, just not in a good mood that day and you were kind of speaking out of character. I understand days like that happen, but you're going to know that you're in a bad mood. You're going to know that you're not acting your normal self and not talking your normal self and that's okay. But when that happens and when you've come back to, you know, being your normal self and being 
um, no longer angry about whatever situation was bothering you. And this situation has nothing to do with the current time and place, the current person you're talking about. This person you're talking to has done nothing to upset you. It's just that they're now in, they're now interacting with you on a different matter, but you're upset about something else, something that I can relate to. You know, I'll be in a bad mood and I'll go and, uh, you know, the people I'm talking to can tell that I'm not really not really feeling, I don't really feel like talking today. I don't really feel like being here talking to this person today. And they can kind of tell by the way I'm speaking to them because I'm not being my normal self. And that's okay to feel that way. But as soon as you come back to being normal or or even in that time, know that you're just not your normal self and know that you're not having a good day. And uh, you might be saying things that sound disrespectful and you don't really want to sound disrespectful let that person know that you're just having a bad day and uh, you apologize if if you've said anything to offend them said anything to um be sound disrespectful or rude let other people know that hey today's just not a good day i apologize i might have acted out of character i might have said something that i wouldn't normally say because i'm not you know i'm just not feeling feeling myself today. I've got other things on my mind that are causing me stress and causing me um, anxiety and it has nothing to do with you and I apologize. Let people know, let people know that that's how you are that day so that they don't have a bad impression of you that lasts for a longer period of time. Um, I do that kind of thing. You know, there are days where I just, I'm not in the mood. I'm not, I'm, I've got other things in my mind, other things in life that are stressing me out, but it has nothing to do with you, has nothing to do with the people here. It's just other things in my own personal life that are affecting me emotionally. And some of it might be coming out in this conversation I'm having with you. And I apologize. I do that. That happens to me. I let people know that I, I feel that way sometimes. So anyways, guys, my, my point of this message is take responsibility for your own actions. Clean up your own mistakes. Don't leave your mistakes for other people. Clean up after yourself. Apologize when you know you've been acting out of character. Um, let people know that you might be having a bad day and you apologize if you're acting out of character. So anyways, guys, I hope this message made a little bit of sense. Um, I hope someone can relate to this and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.